Now, growing up, every single household had this thing. On Fridays, me, Sikuya, chips na sausage. Woo! Chips na sausage. Now, in our house, Fridays was that day. However, every other day, my mom would just like switch up on the menu like, no timetable, we are eating this. But Fridays had to stay like that because we have siblings who love ketchup and they love chips. And french fries make everybody happy, right? I, I see this timetable thing is still very much into existence. And I want to help you switch it up, especially on this episode of Miss Mandy Throwdown. We're going to be making an amazing one pan potato roasted chicken dish that's going to blow your mind away. So in my baking dish right here, I got this from Nakuma before Nakuma came down, guys. I, I just need to say that before I get asked. Anyway, I got this baking dish uh, from Nakuma a while back, but that's besides the point. And I have five potatoes in here that I have cubed. Five potatoes being the size of this potato. Mm-hmm, or even slightly bigger. So those are five potatoes that I've cubed. I've gone ahead to wash my chicken right here and pat it down. Now this chicken is half a kilo of drumsticks that I got from Santos. The link is below if you need to buy some from City Market. A kilo usually goes for 550 if I am not wrong. So um, usually get eight. I usually get them divided into halves and these ones are four, so that's half a kilo. Now those are the two major things that we need. Let's move on down to our spices. We are going to be needing some black pepper, some black pepper, some dried thyme, some garlic powder, brown sugar. If you do not have brown sugar, you can use honey, okay? Because I know some people will be like, where do I find brown sugar? You can find it at the supermarket, 500 grams, can even go for 100 bob, boom. Next, we're gonna be using some paprika, we of course have some cooking oil, I also have some salt, we have some fresh garlic, and we have some rosemary. To top it off, we have some lemon. So let's begin with, of course, marinating the potatoes first before we touch this, because we don't want the paprika to transfer, right? Let's do that. So for our potatoes, we're just gonna drizzle about one tablespoon of cooking oil. If you have olive oil, it works just as well. We're of course gonna put in some salt into this bad boy. Remember, salt to your liking. Like the comment section been popping off lately. Next, we have some black pepper. Now, as we're marinating all this stuff, we have, of course, turned on our oven, preheated it, turned the heat all the way up high uh, before we, of course, add in the stuff. So we're just gonna mix all this together. Now we're just gonna spread uh, the potatoes onto the baking tray, like so. I've added in about one tablespoon of olive oil into here. And then I'm just gonna take my garlic powder. So I feel like it's Waswaili who came up with that saying of kupima na macho. I could be wrong. You can correct me in the comments. It was about two tablespoons of um, garlic powder. For those of you who've been saying I've been abandoning you with the garlic powder story, I'm still with you. Deep, deep, to solidarity. Um, we're gonna go in with three quarter tablespoon of black pepper. Half a tablespoon of dried thyme. about three quarter tablespoon of brown sugar. And last but not least, or rather second last, we're gonna go in with our paprika. That was one teaspoon of paprika. And then of course we are gonna go in with our salt. About one pinch. We're gonna mix everything together. Our lemon juice. Now 
Now this is one of my favorite parts. You can taste and adjust. Oh my God, so good. I'm going to add in just another tablespoon or so of olive oil. Now that our marinade is ready, one thing that I have to say, you always get a taste and adjust your marinade to how you like it. Maybe you wanted to add some chili flakes into there. Maybe you want to add some more lemon. Always just make sure to taste to adjust. So we're going to take our chicken and we're going to score the meat. Scoring the meat just simply means we're creating incisors to <laughs> let the marinade penetrate through. So we're just cutting it like so, right? Just like that. Now, if you have chicken thighs, you can, of course, go ahead and make this meal with chicken thighs. Just make sure it has some bone, because if you use chicken breast, you need less cooking time, because if you use the same cooking time that I share with you, your chicken's gonna be overcooked, and there is nothing as bad as overcooked chicken. So next, we are going to take our marinade, right? I'm just gonna rub it onto the chicken. Now if you're able to let this marinate, let's say for two hours or even four hours or overnight, you're gonna have some really poppin' magic. But if you come home, the chicken is thawed, the potatoes are cut up, or you're just gonna cut up some potatoes, it's gonna be quick and easy. So we've marinated that, making sure all the chicken is coated. I'm gonna bring in our pot like so. I'm gonna take our chicken and just place it on top. Making sure that the skin, you can stretch it to cover because you want a nice crispy skin on your chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands again. Our cloves of garlic, we're just gonna throw them in. They're just gonna add like that great fragrance to our um, potatoes, our chicken as well. And then we're gonna take our rosemary. And insert it in different places of our baking dish over here. And just like that, it's time to bake. So we're gonna be baking this for 55 minutes, yes. At the halfway mark, which I usually prefer to go through the 25 minute mark, I'm just gonna open the oven and flip over the chicken, but for right now, I'm just gonna throw this in the oven, have a glass of wine, we'll catch up on my favorite series. That's the best part about making this dish. Okay, we have hit the 25 minute mark. As you can see, the chicken is crispy. So we're just gonna flip over the bad boys. So what I'm also gonna do is move around the potatoes as well. So the ones that have been in the bottom can cook. And now that we've flipped over everything, we're just gonna pop it back into the oven. So I decided to take out my roast about five minutes early because people are actually hungry. And I'm hungry too. So here we go. 50 minutes later, everything is cooked to perfection. I'm loving that the skin is so crispy. We're just gonna let things cool down before I serve. And I wanna say this, you need to have your oven at 180 degrees. Um, that's what I usually put it at. And I've put it on the third tray level, the third tray level that I placed it in and I just baked. 
until it got to the 25 minute mark and flip things over. Make sure you time this meal. This is a great meal to serve with, of course, your loved ones, could be, could be your children, could be your bae, could be for yourself, because this is great for meal prep. But uh, this is where I wrap things up. And of course, I wanna hear your feedback. Do you usually make one pan um, dinner dishes? And what do you think of this take on doing, you know, chips and sausage? You just do chips and chicken. Well, rather, chunky wedges. Mm, yeah anyway I'd love to hear from you in of course the comment section below do uh, let me know what you think let me know your feedback let me know what else you'd like to see on the channel and of course I will whip it up for you in the meantime I'm ready to serve my crew and of course serve myself some food but I want to say thank you so much for the continuous love and support and a huge shout out to all the throwdown lovers out there and for the throwdown lovers I'm about to convert